Yeah, so my name is Gunnar Skulason Kaldal. I'm a mechanical engineer at ESOR and I've been working there for 2016 or 15 actually. And ISOR, ESOR, uh, Iceland Geosurvey, is a consultant and uh, research company. The Compass project is one of the research projects that we are working in and that is aiming to increase the structural reliability of, of the downhole structure by yeah, introducing, uh, of course, relying on, on all the technology, but introducing also uh, novel technologies into it. For example, we are looking into uh, cutting solutions, material selections, uh, cementing solutions uh, for long casings. Uh, then we have the flexible cropping that is here on the table, uh, where we are uh, uh, trying to get rid of uh, thermal expansion problems uh, that can result in casing failures. And we're also developing a, a new tool uh, or new uh, technology for the casing integrity to get rid of casing collapse. It's an uh, annular, annular uh, pressure buildup relief system. Yeah, so this has been in uh, design since 2015 uh, and we got a patent for it, uh, two patents actually. And the idea is to uh, yeah, allow the casing to work in the elastic range of the material. Because we are working in high temperatures, the wells are drilled in cooled conditions, and once the well heats up, we get normally uh, high strains, thermal strains in the in the casing, uh, and that can le lead to casing failures. So, in order to drill deeper and hotter into super hot regions, and we need to get rid of this uh, thermal expansion somehow. So this is the idea. We have a small uh, gap in the connection and we allow each uh, casing pipe to uh, expand into the connection. We can actually adjust the coupling into what situation we are uh, planning to drill to. So the gap uh, is, we can uh, extend the gap for, for higher temperatures. So it's really, it's a rather simple uh, technology that we are introducing to solve this. So there are samplers on, on market that uh, go up to uh, high temperature. Uh, we want to extend that to be able to sample from both the, uh, the, the wells that are have, having yeah, the highest temperature wells, uh, 350 degrees or, or, or higher. And then for the, yeah, for the superheated wells as well uh, to, to be able to sample or take a sample downhole uh, at the feed zone that we want to look into and uh, there we needed to yeah, uh, increase the sealing capacity of, of the sampler to be able to take these samples at these high pressures, high temperatures. That's a good question. Uh, so when you're drilling the well there may be several feed zones that, that are intersected and they can uh, mix on the way up to the surface um, so at the surface we actually have a mixture of, of di different fluids uh, so we don't know actually, actually what, what the original uh, chemistry were, were at the location deep in the well. So with the new sampler we can, can take the sample deep in the well. Actually uh, if we talk about the sampler uh, we, we developed that in, in the EU uh, Horizon 2020 project. Now we intend, intend to use that sampler in the Compass project. So it's a continuation uh, and we are uh, aiming to uh, take samples now of uh, uh, several uh, wells in, in Hengitl in Iceland. That will be yeah, very interesting to see, see the chemistry, downhole chemistry. Yes, actually, we are planning to put this downhole in, in Nesjavellir now in the next well in August, probably. So it's likely now in August, so it's very soon. And we're going to yeah, try to monitor uh, how it uh, works downhole.